Checking out the Midwest Regional here at team number 2338, Geared Ford, here with Sydney, Grant, and Eben. We're going to learn a little bit more about their robot on behind the bumpers. Sydney, you were talking to me just a little bit before about a really cool hatch manipulator mechanism we have. So why don't you talk a little bit about it, and we'll kind of show it off a little bit here. Sure, so uh, what we have right here is our collector and hatch mechanism. We collect both uh, cargo and hatches with this. We have two different functions for it. We have uh, where our servos are inward. This is the hatch uh, definition for it. And what we have is our hatches are on uh, coated in rubber, that's metal, and they act on a rack and pinion device, meaning they use uh, pistons that are integrated into the actual frame of the collector. And once they uh, open, they shoot out. So then, uh, as to grab the hatch, we also have um, our hatch mechanism is sort of barbed, and what that leaves is that um, it's easier to grab the hatch. It gives us more leeway with collecting it from the uh, loading station or just carrying it around. It also helps with keeping it into the robot. Then we have, uh, when we open the servos, we have our cargo mode, which means that the hatch is slightly wider and uh, able to collect cargo and hold it in there safely. So then next we want to talk about the elevator. Yeah, so this year we decided to go with a two-stage cascading lift elevator. Uh, we did a lot of CAD work to get this as fluid as possible. Uh, and a lot of this was using our new CNC machine. So a lot of these parts we CAD and CNC'd out. We have multiple bearings for each stage, uh, with many of the bearings actually being inside of these frame parts and being able to rub up against the side of each stage. So. Yeah, and now we'll pass it off to Evan to talk about the climber. Yeah, so we decided to uh, climb this year because we figured it was pretty important to do it. So what we ended up going with was uh, four pistons, two on the front, two on the back. And what we do with them is we regulate the airflow on the front pistons so that they come up slow. And then we use a winch on the back to regulate the rate that these go up. From there, we're able to climb up. The robot will then, then on the back of these pistons, there are two wheels on the bottom. They're hard to see. And there's a shaft contained within this PVC pipe. When that drops down, this motor is able to turn the shaft using a bevel gear. From there, these bottom wheels will drive forward until the front drivetrain is over the top. Then these pistons back off. We drive forward and then lift the rest of it up. Well, Evan Grant and Sydney, thank you so much talking more about your robot. Uh, as we film this, we're currently the number two seed here at the Midwest Regional looking for big things from Garrett Ford. Good luck to you guys the rest of the competition season.